Hello, Chathew. Good evening. Welcome. How are you? Dun, dun, dun! Oh, that's a sound effect I should add to the soundboard, isn't it? Uh, greetings! Hi! Hello! Happy Thursday! It is Thursday, my dudes, which is not how the meme goes, but that's what the meme is, anyhow. Um, I'm here, and I don't think I have a ton to talk about tonight. Uh, sadly, my attempted purchase of a $79 Switch was cancelled. Dell, not standing behind their pricing error, cancelled my order. And so I am not, sadly, going to come into possession of a $79 Nintendo Switch. I agree. Boo. Boo is correct. But it's true. I was Schrodinger's Switch owner there for uh, for eight hours or so. Dell confirmed less customer friendly than Amazon. That's correct. Amazon sent me a fifty dollar lightsaber. Dell sent me a cancellation notice. So, <laughs> so to heck with Dell, I guess. I have $79 more to spend on Gunpla now. Um, well, <laughs> I'm trying not to spend any more money on Gunpla for the moment. What I'm spending money on now is paints and painting supplies. Which I will apply to Gunpla. I even bought some paints today. I did no such thing, Zafty. <laughs> I did not promise you $215. There was no... No promise was made. Maple's good. Maple's currently having a nap. <laughs> Confracta says, I've spent enough on Gunplay that now all I need is time. No doubt. I I need another Christmas break. I, I need like six weeks with no other obligations in which I can just commit my time to teaching myself how to paint. And then a, a, a further infinite period of time in which to spend with no further obligations building and painting Gunpla. I could take a week off streaming. No, that's not sufficient. I mean, like, all day, every day. It's true. I, d I don't need that long to learn. Um, there are a couple of things I need to to apply to spoons, and then I'm, like, I the, the paints that I bought today were the paint colors necessary to paint, a, like, an RX-78. So uh, I intend to basically lurch into an entry grade and uh, and just do my best with it and see how it goes. Consistency will be more important than time. I suppose that's true. But my available time is incredibly inconsistent. Anywho, I keep buying all these movies that get in the way of more gunplus space. It's not really the movies. Well... It is a little bit. You're right. But yes, if I gave up streaming, I would have more time for Gunpla. Uh, if I gave up having a dog, I would have more time for Gunpla. If I gave up having a partner, I would have more time for, for Gunpla. Meg is correct. I probably actually wouldn't have more time for Gunpla in that, in that case. Because I'd have to take on all of the personal upkeep that uh, that you have unburdened me of, and the maple keep through our share of responsibilities. 
I will go Full back maple. to. I know. Well, I did say if I gave up the dog. I just heard gave up give, having a partner. Oh, there were two other things before that. There was give up streaming and give up having a dog. Mm, yeah, those things. Yeah, which I'm not going to do. Yeah. <laughs> you just need to stream Gunpla. <laughs> oh, oh, hi, my Rhea says, I think it'd be Gunpla and crying a bit. And yeah, that's that's about right. You could dilute your paint with your own tears. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Just give up sleep. That's the real the real tech. Just so I've talked about streaming gunplay in the past and A, um I don't think it's very interesting. Uh I don't I don't think it's much fun to watch for one. And B, um <laughs> I want I want to keep I, I want to keep gunplay not monetized. For one, although of all the things that I should be monetizing, it's my gunpla habit. But uh, I like—I I don't know. I just don't think it's—it's it's very entertaining to watch. The content machine demands it, no doubt. A gunpla night once a week. It's true. I also don't have any way uh I don't have a way to like I don't have a good setup. The problem is that doing a gunplay night once a week means reconfiguring my entire camera setup once a week, which is just not I'd rather not. A second set of cameras. Yeah, that's that's right. I would have to. I have arms for my cameras. I have multiple arms for my cameras. My cameras are all on arms. And I have multiple additional tripods that I can use. Like, I have the equipment that I would need to set it up. It's just a pain in the ass. What I would love to do one day is configure my office one day when I have an, an office large enough to do that, such that I have, like, my streaming desk, and then to its immediate left is the, like, the gunpla desk. Because then I could set up cameras in such a way that the camera angles are functional, and I could turn, like, there could be, like, a NASA cam on the gunpla desk, and just have them all have them both set up at all at all times and not have to like not have to like rebuild the whole darn thing. Would I have enough room if I didn't have the game rack there? I mean, potentially, yes. If I didn't have this case here, conceivably I could get an L-shaped like desk that would fit in this. And I'd be very tightly packed still. But I could conceivably make it fit. The problem is that the the access panel for the air conditioning unit is right here, and it gets serviced once a year. <laughs> and so I need to leave the the I need to leave this space set up in such a way that the access panel can be accessed by the maintenance guy. So I can't put anything in front of it. Why is it in the mountains? Yeah. Exactly. It's the fresh air. It's got to pipe the fresh air into the house. Or have a once a year office. See, it's not just an office clean, though. It's a complete disassembly of my entire tech setup. It means hauling two computers out of here, two cameras out of here, my whole lighting rig, my whole audio rig. It means a full teardown of all the electronics in my office and then setting it all back up again, and it's a huge pain. And, yeah, I have to empty the bookshelf and everything. What I need is a bigger... What I need is a bigger house. So if you would all kindly upgrade your subs... From T5 to T3, or from T1 to T3. This is the promise, all right? 
We finally hit our benchmark. I know what the goal is. <laughs> Let's see here. We go 250, 250 per sub. How much money would I need to make a month to v justify this? Okay. We have a sub goal. <laughs> I know what my new monthly sub goal is. <laughs> at that rate, at that at that recurrent sub rate, I could definitely guarantee you at least one gun plus sub a week. Or at least one gun plus stream a week. At least. Have I made back all the money I spent on cameras and mics? Yes. <laughs> That's a good image. My sub goals. Buy my silence for a day for $50 per month. Buy my silence for a month. For $800 per month. Buy my silence permanently with restrictions for $500 per month. Or sorry, $5,000 per month. Or buy my silence permanently for $8,000 per month. Part of the reason I refuse to set up a Kofi is because it's yet another thing I have to figure out the taxes for. Until I'm making enough to justify paying an accountant to do it for me, it just means I have to figure out how to do the taxes for it. Steve Akrida says, yes, in fact, a yearly income of 750 grand USD would buy you a lot of house. I, it's not 750 grand. I think my calculation there was I'd need 25,000 subs. 25,000 subs in order to make $5,000 a month on Twitch in sub income. Which is about... That, that would just about... Well, I mean, with, with the American exchange, that would more than cover my mortgage on a house. That alone, like that amount of money would uh, would cover my mortgage on a house. Although it's it is entirely possible I screwed up that math. Twenty five thousand times two dollars and fifty cents. Oh. That's per year. I did that wrong. <laughs> That's individual subs. 
25,000. So let's make it 24,000 because I did round up. 24,000 divided by 12. There we go. Okay. This is way more achievable. Way more achievable. Here we go. Much better. Well, I'm doing some math to figure out what my new sub goal is in order to get, in order to be making enough sub money on stream to pay the mortgage on a new apartment. No, it's just the mortgage. It's just the subs, just the subs we need to cover the mortgage payment. Well, originally I calculated it out to 25,000 subs, but that was wrong. That was a mistake. That wasn't accurate. The actual accurate sub goal is I need to be making 2,000 subs, 2,000 recurrent subs. If I have 2,000 recurring subs month to month, Yes, it's merely 20 times as many subs as I currently have. The granted. Not yet. But it, I was going to turn it on shortly. Oh, Horus 5 notes that it is, in fact, only 16 times as many subs as I currently have. Right? I just need to stream 20 times as much. No, that's not how that works, unfortunately. I do need to make 20 times more content. But most of it should be off Twitch. <laughs> it's achievable, I just need to do what Kate did. Quit my job and stream full-time for seven years. For for at least some portion of that, yeah. I did just turn the camera on. People, pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, 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 pop. Puppy, pop, pop, pop. There she is. Hi. There she is. Here, I'm going to just give you full puppy cam here for a minute. Maple. Maple. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, pop, pop. Mine? Hi! <laughs> well, you get feet. Maple showing you feet for free. You're making her a toy? Oh. Show beans. I mean, you can sort of see the beans. You can see one bean. Now she's hidden it. Maple's fur is very soft. It depends on where, but Maple's fur is very soft. The fur on her back is getting to be a bit adult, like it's getting a little coarser, but uh, her under fur and uh, her ear fur is still very, very soft. All the fur around her face is very soft. We had a nice little sit on the couch and I gave her a pat earlier. It was very good. What kind of a toy did you... Oh... 
a puzzle toy. Maple will be full grown around one year of age. Whoa! Uh, that isn't shot. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, she thought about it on that one. It has been a while. She's got to remember what she's doing. Yeah. Yes, it was. This is where we, we get out that TikTok sound. Don't bother me. I'm having enrichment time in my enclosure. I know, she's not going ham on it. Is Maple food mo motivated? <laughs> yes, Maple is extremely food motivated. If you ever need to turn Maple's ears on, pull out a treat. <clears throat> I know, she loves the salmon skin. If you vaguely shake the kibble bag, that will turn her ears on, yes. <laughs> She's doing her best. Got to get those treats out. Your cats are lazy with treat toys. Well, we give Maple her dinner in treat toys. So if she wants to eat, she has to figure them out. So she's gotten pretty good. She can untie knots now. Which is a little dangerous. <laughs> uh, Ghost of Jeff Goldblum, thank you very much for the resub. Uh, for 22, 21 months, Ghost of Jeff Goldblum says, my sub can drink and will be getting right S-faced. Uh, I don't think that's uh, that's correct. I'm pretty sure you should not let your 21-month-old drink. Captain Spam also resubscribed now for two years. Oh, is she all done already? Wow, oh, she got it all. That was quick. Well, that was that was quick. All right. I owe a joke, so I'm going to tell you a joke. Where do cats go when they die? Purgatory. Cats go straight to hell, Rainko's Bear says. Old McDonald had to hire a new business manager for the farm. The business manager asked, Okay, what's my title? Old McDonald said, you're the CIO.
After we lit a building on fire, my child asked me if we were pyro pyromaniacs. And I responded to him, yes, we are, son. Mm. I always buy fiber cereal from the same store. I'm one of their most regular customers. I like that one. Okay, uh, we are going to move on. It's tradition o'clock, and then it's time for video games. So, um, I'm afraid Maple is getting reduced to small camera size. Here is my phone. Here is my perfectly functional in pristine condition, phone cable, everybody please brace your ear holes. Oh, it's not puppy chewed. It's just worn out. That's just what happens to Apple charge cables. Lazis, this is the first I've actually seen of that cable, and as an electrical engineer, I have to comment, Matt! <laughs> no, it's fine! There's still insulation on the cord. It's just the outer rubber layer that's effed. There we go. It's fine, see? Totally fine. <laughs> As Rainco's Pear says, it only needs two working conductors to charge the phone. Damn, I am pretty notes. Meg won't help because Meg is the one who wouldn't throw out the exploding phone. <laughs> yes, you did get attacked. <laughs> This is the fastest I've ever seen chat turn on Meg. Um, all right, it's time for the beverage reveal. Garcon, can I have a drum roll, please? Delicious and nutritious. It is a Coca-Cola Zero sugar. Didn't people just get up? Huh. Bye, Mabel. It was nice hanging out with you. <laughs> she goes out into the kitchen. The first thing she, she does is jump up onto the counter. <laughs> All right, well, Maple has chosen violence and uh, is no longer in her pen. So let's, uh... oh, now she is in her pen. So 
there's the camera again. All right, uh, let's let's play a video game. People, you have many adoring fans. Did you know that? Okay, Jim Cat ruining it for everybody by requesting another joke. Try the try the uh, the cheese chew. Let's see if she likes it. We can save it until after this bully stick is done. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do we have another joke? <laughs> Did you know that diarrhea is hereditary? Yeah, because it runs in your jeans. That's our second poop joke of the evening. Look at this perfect baby just sitting there chewing her chew. Well, yeah, but she stopped when she started chewing her chew. <laughs> How does the guy from Papa Roach like to decompress? I don't know if I'm going to be able to deliver this punchline sufficiently. How does the guy from Papa Roach like to decompress? Meditation! Slow breathing! Thank you. Yes, is and I... I know you don't know what Papa Roach is because you're four. Ghost of Jeff Goldblum, thank you very much for the gift sub. Congratulations to Sam Walk. <gasps> Maple's naked. TOS, TOS. All right, let's play a video game. Pardon me? Yeah, the little, the little triangular, like, oh yeah, that's, all Goldens have that. It's a little, like, ear flap. I don't know, they got a little pocket in their ear. It's weird. It's just the way their ear is shaped. When are we leveling everyone else's additions? No. We have exactly three streams left in the month. <laughs> After this one. We're not doing it until we absolutely have to. Ideally not at all. have pockets in their ears. Uh, let me see if I can find a picture of it. Dog ear. Here we go. This picture shows it. I'll, uh, I'll post this to chat. So this is just a link to the American Kennel Club. But the photo at the top, you can see there's a little, like... There's a little triangular inset at the bottom of the ear. And it's just, that's the way the dog's ears are shaped. Yes, I, I did make an attempt at uh, fighting the dragon. 
And then I, yes, misread the block staff activation message and uh, transformed into Dragoon mode, and it ended poorly. The Sound of Swords. No, has somebody already started to fight against it? Let's go. Either way, we will have to join in. Nobody would think that way. May I excuse myself a bit? You are the representative of the Winleys. Come on! Are you going back to your forest to hide? Uh, I was just kidding. When I do it, I can do it. I made up my mind. Anyway, if the people of Sergio knew about this, they would all fall over. Let's do it. Void? It is earlier than I expected. Well, it is the future king of the dragon of the dragons. Even with the dragon buster, which can kill dragons, he still gave me a hard time. But he's almost dead. There is no need for you to come in. You say you're fighting against the Divine Dragon? You broke the seal of the strongest dragon of all, but you couldn't control it. It's the truth, isn't it? What are you yapping about? We can kill this man any time. We have to defeat the Divine Dragon first. The sacred sister of Nilsiso. I see the replacement for that girl. How convenient for us. Shut up! God, that dialogue is bad. Anyhow, in response to how many... How much game is there left? We are on step 36 of 49, apparently. Sorry? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> ah! Time to fight Chin Dick the Dragon? No, no, no. It's Dick Chin the, the Dragon. Let's get it right. It's a dick chin, not a chin dick. Those are two different things. Dragoon power reduced. So note to self, don't Dragoon in this fight. As we learned last night. Yes, the legend of Don't Dragoon is quite correct. I probably should have switched over my thingamadigs.
thingamadinks. You heard me. Holy moly. Dart will probably take reduced damage from this. Jesus. Yeah, I probably should have healed. Ah, cool. Cool beans. This is good. This is great. Ah! Yeah, I got greedy. 100%. It's okay. I'm gonna make some strategic changes. How am I still alive? Yes. Go. <laughs> Well, sure, he has a huge amount of HP, but I still don't understand why he's why he keeps living. <laughs> Look at that perfect baby just sitting there doing a chew. Having her fur combed. <laughs> Just take a candy bar to the barber. What's in the chest just before the boss? We don't know because I have too many items. This time for sure. Except that I have to go through this unskippable dialogue again.
They really should have put this in front of the, the save point. Instead of behind it. Alright, here we go. Oh god. Right. The cutscene. Okay, this time for sure. Yeah, that's right. This time for sure has been called. Mouse just stopped working. That's weird. There we go. Okay. Divine Ball. Yes. Much better. Yeah! Hot damn! Oh no, they're all dispirited. Whose idea was that? God damn it. time I'm ready for the, the button press. Hell yeah! 
divine ball down. Divinity is stored in the balls. Which the dragon no longer has. Dragon spade or neutered. Very good. Let's get some heals out. When I say old boy is neo-noir, it's been too long since I've seen old boy to, to answer. Hey, maybe? Yes. I don't I don't remember the stylistic trappings of old boy well enough to, to answer that question, I'm afraid. down. Oh, I'm pretty sure the cannon wiped me out last night. So, we won't get to see the cannon today. <laughs> Oh, you were re-watching re now? It wasn't the cannon? Okay. Oh, of course it's still blue. We haven't even hit it yet. Like, we barely touched it. Oh, Rose is dead. Good times.
Uh, how many healing items do we have? That's a problem. That is a concern. We are running a little low. Its attack rate is bonkers. Why did it get so fast? That attack is not so scary. that. Oh, Excal Gold, yes, I did get my lightsaber for $50. That did happen. But I did not get the Switch. The Switch order got cancelled on me. Ha! <laughs> 
Here we go! Mission accomplished. Eat shit, Divine Dragon. Hi, Lloyd. Is he about to take credit for all our work? Haha! I destroyed the Divine Dragon! Now its power belongs to me! That is... Yes. This is the Dragoon Spirit. Yeah, why didn't we wait? Dang, that was a lot of levels. This is the soul of the Divine Dragon. The flame of a soul sparkles only at the last moment of a dragon's life. Its crystal is the Dragoon Spirit. As I expected, it doesn't sparkle in my hands. Boy, that was your purpose, wasn't it? This is just a little prize for me. Prize? I don't need additional power to destroy the world. The Divine Dragon was a mere obstacle to my ideal. I fought against it for that reason only. You're the one who filmed, formed the conspiracy to destroy the world. The King of Sergio, what brought you all the way here? Is it the frustration of having your moon taken? Or your feelings toward your loyal friend, Lavitz? Don't even mention that name! It is too early yet to settle things. Wait! Don't be so hasty. I'll see you soon. Where is he going? He is leaving the mountain. Chase him! A body purifier. All right. If this fight kills me, I'm going to be so mad. Just have to get to the safe point.
All right, we're alive. We made it. That's right. What chest? I opened the chest. Was there another chest? Was there a chest by the save point? Oh, I didn't see it. Right, I need to switch my additions back. That's what I care about. <clears throat> All right, let's fix our additions. Is 99 the max? Yes, I think so. But it maxes out at 80. Like, you get the highest level at 80. <clears throat> Lloyd! What? Yes, somehow we caught up to him by running. Despite the fact that he teleported. Ah, I didn't know he was one of the Wingleys. Rose? Why does the game keep pairing these two together? Rose, come on! Tell me who I am. Okay, fair enough. That was sort of a rhetorical question. I thought you 
were dead. Don't worry. I am carrying out your will. We took this world back together. I won't let them ruin it. Barrage. Embryo. The moon with black power. Black power? Are you talking about the black monster? Neat! 18 years ago. Stay here. Now, keys. Take care of Dart. Father is a strong person. You have that strength in you. So... You can wait here by yourself, okay? Where are you going? I am going back to the village to fight. Really? I will protect your hometown with your father. Look at that fire! The hometown's not there anymore! <laughs> Live strong. Mom? Dad? This is my dad's important shiny stone. Mom? Dad? Count 108 years, and when the moon that never sets glares red, the moon child descends to the earth and shall give a holy blessing to the world. Fester said, what really appears is not the moon child, but the black monster. What kind of relationship exists between the black monster who destroys all and the moon child who blesses the world? Rose, what do you know about this? Dart, Rose! I finally found you guys! Oh boy, Rose, she passed out! Move away, I'll carry Rose first. I think that's supposed to be I'm beat. <laughs> it's my fault. Letting him go. I apologize for it. 
It's not your fault, Rose. Nobody knew he was a wingly who can use magic. Oh, don't worry. We will find out where he went. I agree. Lloyd's objectives are still the divine moon objects. Miranda, there's no need for you to hide it. Tell us about the divine moon object in Mil Sasso. It's not like you, Miranda. Don't hesitate. but to tell everything. The Divine Moon objects are said to be brought by Winglies. And it is said that they have a dreadful magic power concealed within. That is the reason why they were never allowed to be taken outside. A national treasure that has been kept a close secret. It is called the Moon Mirror. The successive thrones have been the keys to opening the seal. Cannot be. Queen Teresa's in danger. Not danger. <clears throat> uh oh, I've taken the wrong path, haven't I? Not Queen Chorizo. fight. Bye. Oh, God damn it. Slowly getting used to these additions. I'm just looking forward to these additions not sucking as they get stronger at them. Good, I did choose correctly. How do we only have 3,000 gold? Because this game is incredibly stingy with resources. And I haven't been selling my gear, but this game is incredibly stingy with resources. a bunch of my old gear. You bastard! Yes. Go. 
I mean, the big thing with with cash is that I haven't needed more than I've had. I ha I haven't sold the gear because I haven't really needed more money so far. Maybe you could stop hitting Albert, who's like the one character that actually needs heals. Yeah, like that. Right, you're confused. <laughs> okay, we're back to the world map. Let Rose live. Yes. Go. <laughs> Thank you. It's true. I could give Rose the plus 50% HP accessory. That is the thing I could do. <clears throat> I wonder what 
where Sister Miranda and the other people are, and if they're safe. To make sure of that, we, the Sacred Knighthood, are going to act as a reinforcements. Don't worry, there is no way. Our Sister Miranda can lose. Yes, indeed, we cannot imagine her losing. But I cannot imagine that the giant dragon will lose either. Please don't say such an ill-omened thing. I'm sorry, ma'am. Sister Miranda, Dart and company are legendary dragoons. We might, might not be needed. Question mark. Dragoons, they are mere humans anyway. Oh, it's Lloyd. Who is it? Oh no, it's younger Bardell. Humans don't need to know. Humans don't need to know my name. Oh no, are you a Wingly? Yes, I am. We were the rulers of you humans in ancient deadness. And now I am your executioner. Oh my God. This is what you asked for. This is the Great Battle of Liberation! And your scream is its overture! You conceited humans, go to hell! The conceited one is you! Oh, you are Mr. Lloyd! You are so easily overtaken! You blocked the magic power! Who are you? I don't need to answer you. Watch your mouth. Mr. Lloyd. I won't let anybody hinder the liberation of Wingleys. I'll annihilate all humans. Liberation of Wingleys? <laughs> you are so old fashioned. A world without humans? It won't be any different from the forest you are cooped up in. I have made many sacrifices for my ideas. Your ideas cannot be achieved unless you annihilate everything. Of course, my grudge, my hatred. I will settle them all with human lives. You should not be alive. Uh, I won't die alone. Mr. Lloyd? I went out of my way. Oh, you are wounded. Please let us treat you at the castle. He's trying to destroy the Earth! We just had a conversation about how he plans to destroy the world. Do not treat his wound! Well, he deserves it. He can have little of war criming as a treat. Ah. 
Geneva definitely doesn't exist in this game. I'm confident of that fact. Not with that attitude. I mean, we could found a Geneva. It's a better name than most of the place names in this game. Sister Miranda! Oh, Commander of Knights, we were successful defeating the Divine Dragon, and... What happened to you? You were injured? Queen Teresa! Queen Teresa was abducted! What did you say? By who? Uh, by whom? Thank you very much, Dart. A man called L Lloyd! We are too late! What were you doing? <laughs> what were you doing? Do you know where he took her? Well... Sister Wink might know something. My sisters are safe, aren't they? Everyone is waiting for the group to come back to the castle. Enter! If you dare. Da 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 can't stop, won't stop. Da -da. <laughs> hey, look, a save point. supposed to be rushing back to the castle? Maple apparently has something she's not supposed to. Oh. What do you mean that Queen Teresa was taken away? What happened? Uh, let me tell you. A few days ago, when the howling of the dragon from the mountain of mortal dragon stopped, we assumed he had been successful, vanquished. Successfully vanquished. Everyone, everyone was happy about it.
Did you put the puppy to bed? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I just, I didn't realize. I didn't even notice you walked by. So. How long has it been since we have stopped hearing the howling of the divine dragon? It has been about one week now. Don't worry. Sister Luana said the feeling of the divine dragon is gone. I am back. I have good news for you, Queen Teresa. As Sister Luana said, it seems they defeated the Divine Dragon. I am glad. Now we can focus on the recovery of the country. I appreciate it, Wink. Please give the knights their well-earned rest. About the knights, my knighthood is currently being treated... A wingly who had something against humans suddenly raided us. Winglies attacked you? According to Miranda, they are frequent oh, they are a friendly species. Some of the winglies are militant. <laughs> I guess right. This gentleman repelled them so that we were able to come back to the castle safe and sound. Let me introduce him. His name is Mr. Lloyd, Your Majesty. It is a pleasure to meet you, Your Majesty. Not only that, it was Mr. Lloyd who gave us the good news of the successful vanquishing of the Divine Dragon. How did you find out about it? It was a coincidence. I saw Sister Miranda and her companions who completed the vanquishing in the Mount Dragon Tomb. I understand. Let me express my gratitude to you. Actually, it was not the first time I was saved by Mr. Lloyd. Oh, I remember. This gentleman is the man of the fate Sister Wink was talking about, isn't he? Queen Teresa, she was saved from the bandits and now by this gentleman, too. It wasn't a coincidence, was it? Helping Wink and coming here? Sister Luana, what are you talking about? The murderous intention you conceal it inside, you cannot disguise it in front of me. Wink City, stay back. I felt it too. Something very wrong. I hadn't intended to make a scene. However, sometimes it can't be avoided. Queen Teresa! Mr. Lloyd, what on earth? Do not come closer. What do you want? I desire the moon mirror. Moon mirror? How did you know about it? You don't need to worry about that. You should just take me there, your majesty. Answer me from the beginning. From the beginning, it was your purpose? Wink, get away! I just desire the power to create a utopia. Queen Teresa, he is reading your mind. Shall we go to the last divine moon object? The last divine moon object? Is he going to end this? Miranda, where is the moon mirror? In the Tower of Flanville, to the west of Kashua Glacier. Teresa is the key to the tower. I'll take care of the rest. 
Sister Miranda. We will bring Queen Teresa back. We are not going to let Lloyd get what he wants. Out of my way, nerd. Onward to the Kashua Glacier. Out of my way, nerd. Which way is the way to the Kashua Glacier? It looks like it's down and to the left. Down to the left. Jackie, how's it going? Welcome to chat this fine Thursday evening. What a cold place. Yes, it's a glacier. It pierces through my aged bones. Well, maybe you should put a coat on, Hashel. It is a land where the earth is eternally covered under ice. I understand that it must be harsh on someone who has never been here. Darn, I'm totally dying. Do you often visit such a place, Miranda? It's been a while since I came all the way here. But I would often come here to find solace for my loneliness. You've got such a kind mother like Queen Teresa. How could you have a lonely time? Her Majesty Teresa is not my birth mother. My true birth mother abandoned me. After that, I met Her Majesty Teresa. Her Majesty Teresa cherished me when I was alone, as if I were her real daughter. Since then, I've never felt loneliness again. Yeah, but enough about you. There's a box over here. That I can't open. <laughs> I 
don't like its big woolly feet. Yes! Go! Hero! No, that's not the big woolly peen I'm referring to, is anti. I know that's a trunk. When it rears back, it's got a pointy bit in between its legs. Heat blade. That seems... No... <laughs> Not on its chest, in between its back legs, Zandai. Fire based attack. That seems like a considerable downgrade over my current attack power, though. 50. Yeah. I mean, this is the ice zone. It's probably worth my while, but. Blastoise. Okay. Hold on. Oh my god.
Well, this is going well. Well, this is going real well. Leave Albert alone, you assholes! Much better. I don't know, for a while there, Albert was getting targeted more than the others. I don't- I don't think anyone is targeted more often than the others. It's just random. And consequently kind of annoying. Oh hey, I found the shop. Hello. Oh! Customers! There's really customers here! I can't believe it, Brother Segundo. Oops, sorry. I forgot about you momentarily. I sell weapons. And I sell items. And we are peddlers. It must be fate meeting you here. It's such a chance. Why don't you buy something? Come on, think of this as a charity. Uh. <laughs> what if I don't think of this as a charity? Say hello to my other brothers at the other place. Okay, Mind Crush. Battle Axe. Flambergy. Virulent Arrow. Raises physical and magical defense power. Promero and Tissero are somewhere around. Drop in on them, will you? 
It is possible that I armed Albert twice. I conceive of that as a thing I might have done. In the hell? Better run. Nights are weird. <laughs> Listen, nothing is above Assassin Cog. Find out what item this is. A dancing ring. That's probably good to keep. Oh. 
Right, the save point there. What? Congo Fields. Monster angry. About we enter here. I cannot imagine what they're thinking to live in such a cold place. Monster don't know coldness. Monster only knows to kill. It wants kill us. It wants kill us. Thank you, but no thank you. Here it comes. Kinda dope, actually. Ah! Sucker. Gotta hit for a lot, right? <laughs> All right, I accept.
describe that as a cackle more like a sinister laugh Okay, that still hit for a crap ton, so that's okay. <laughs> two rounds of combat left. Jesus. Really struggling on the additions here. it's pretty close to dead at this point. It only has 10,000 HP. Knuckle. Dope. All those levels. Mm, delicious. 
We barely defeated. Uh, thanks to that, I got warmed up. Hurry up, we're moving on. The Tower of Flanville is back there. We barely defeated it. <laughs> we trash canned it. Were you watching the same fight, Dart? Look, this is the Tower of Flanville. It's the ruin where the moon mirror was placed. It's a, it's a swirl. The game just doesn't seem to be built by humans. No, it's not. According to the legend, it was the Wingley's floating fort during the dragon campaign. I heard. This can fly? in the past used to have an enormous amount of magic power. And it wouldn't be strange if this much magic power is concealed in the divine moon objects. For the people of Sergio, for King Zior, and for Princess Emile. No, this is a life or death matter for all of Edness. That's even more of a reason we must stop the ambitions of Lloyd here. Can't carry. Goodbye. What about this one? Ah! <laughs> uh oh. If I want to dragoon in the next boss fight, put on death proof accessories, hey? What in the hell? Okay. I see how it works. Fully a dead end. <laughs> the moon mirror is in there. The dragon spirit of the divine dragon is resonating.
Lloyd. Finally, we cornered him. Let's just get this out of the way right off the bat. What are you? Lloyd! Here they are. I just got all three Divine Moon objects. Now the world will be reborn into the Utopia Emperor Diaz and I desire. The world will be reborn? What are you talking about? You should know, Your Majesty, the evolutionary plan created by the Great Will Soa, and the flow of evolution woven by the Divine Tree. You humans are merely the 106th in the plan, and we Winglies are the 107th. I desire the 108th evolution, I desire a utopia created by the last species. For that, I will use every conceivable means. Boy, that's all you want to say? I'll let my sword say the rest. Shall we finish up? He's got his jetpack on. Sephiroth doesn't need a jetpack because Sephiroth can command the will of the cosmos. Commanding the will of the cosmos is not as cool as a jetpack? That feels like it's at least as cool as a jetpack. This seems problematic for my continued survival. Okay, jetpacks are awesome, as is the movie The Rocketeer. you that's not cool at all wait he gets to attack again what the actual hell just happened there
Wow! Jesus! Yes, evidently if you drag in the in this fight, the Dragon Buster murders you. But the Dragon Buster doesn't seem to be doing much less murdering of me. Not in Dragoon form, honestly. was not as useful as I had hoped it would be. Sure, use physical attacks on Albert. He can handle it. He can take it. Yes. 
Oh no! <laughs> the big attack! Everything was going so well! not getting greedy. I am not getting greedy. Because I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> saved you, but he wants to destroy the world. You know this. She winked out of existence. Remember when the point of this game was stopping one specific dragon that blew up a town? No! I don't. Albert, don't you need to be upstairs? Lloyd killed Lavitz. I trust Dart with everything. He will bring us the right answer. I agree. I feel the same way. Ditto. Why? Why did you shield me? I took many people's lives away from my own ideal and the divine moon objects. I used you. Even if that is the truth, the fact that you saved me is still true. Besides, your death won't solve anything. She's already dead, Dark. Go for the killing blow. Just skewer them both. Shauna was taken away. Wh what did you say? By the man named Emperor Diaz. 
He told us to bring the three divine moon objects and Lloyd and come to Velweb. Hmm. Emperor Diaz. Finally, he has begun to take action by himself. Now, take them to him. <clears throat> Even without me, my utopia will be built by Emperor, D Emperor Diaz. I completed all my tasks. Now I have to settle up for what I have done so far. Kill me and go to Velwem. I dedicate my death to your departure. Is it out of pity? Your death won't bring anybody who died back. Lloyd, I'm gonna make you see it through to the end. No, you you left your sword behind! Passion. Is this the power that drives them? Shauna was, I see. When we go there, we can reveal the truth about the Emperor Diaz. Whoever he is, he is dangerous. Besides, it is unforgivable to take our dear Shauna as a hostage for his utopia or whatever. Exactly, I'll beat him up, whoever he is. Queen Teresa, we are heading to Velweb, and we need the moon. I understand. I will let you have the moon mirror. Maybe we were in denial, surrounding ourselves with a comfortable life that really was stagnant. Yes, we humans are not the only species, and all species were given life by Sower's plan. Now is the time to remember the assault of the Divine Dragon, the existence of Winglies, the Divine Moon Objects, the Utopia that Lloyd and Emperor Diaz desire. And you, Dragoons, everything is forcing us to remember it, as if things were manipulated by some great will called fate. Even if so, I don't care. I will take Shauna back even from fate. Miranda, you are one of the dragoons. Go with Dart. Discover the meaning of the fate given by Soa. So... So have we met Diaz? No, we have not met Diaz. Okay, this game sucks. <laughs> game is over now. We finished it. Game's complete. We beat Lloyd. The game's over. World is saved. Can I ask you one question? Yes. Why did you save Wink twice? I had no reason for doing that. I see. Acquired Moon Mirror. Acquired Moon Dagger. Acquired Moon Gem. Oh, I should probably have saved. if I can remember where the save point is. Oh, 
I apparently we were at the exit. <laughs> I don't even know who the black monster is. I presume the black monster is is Rose at this point. But my guess has changed so many times now. Or, yeah, I guess it could be Shauna. She came 18 years ago. I sort of assumed that, like, Shauna having arrived as the Moonchild 18 years ago implied that somebody else was the, the black monster. No, it said Rave Twister. It kind of looks like it, doesn't it? <laughs> now that we're no longer in a boss fight. Hey, a new edition unlocked. All right, I say no. <laughs> I just want to say fine. <laughs> I want is to be able to successfully complete my additions so that I can level them up and not continue to play the rest of the game in abject misery.
Listen, I'm experiencing misery from plenty of other places. I don't need the additions to add on. God. To be fair, uh, Zasaya, I am not landing Gust of Wind Dance very often. <laughs> uh, Zath, I have given up on exactly one game partway through, and it was a lot worse than this. What was so bad about Final Fantasy XV, it was incredibly boring, both to play and to watch. It was just hideously boring. It made for the, the worst stream. Oh, I've, I've beaten Final Fantasy XV. Like, it wasn't like that was my first playthrough. I've beaten it before, but it was just awful to play on stream. Cat, when you say you heard otherwise that the Dead Space remake was really good, are you sure you're not thinking the Callisto Protocol? <laughs> Which is not a Dead Space remake, but is a Dead Space-like game made by people who were involved in the making of the original Dead Space, but no, they also remade Dead Space. I do have to fall for it because I don't, I don't always know that Jim Cat is being insincere. He could just be confused. <laughs> Zero, how are you? 
Jim Cat is the cat who cried wolf. 100%. There's a reason I regularly treat Jim Cat as if he's always trolling. <laughs> But occasionally... <laughs> it's... It's Jim Cat's perfect mix of being equal parts insincere and hopelessly out of touch with everything that you can never be sure. <laughs> Here we have the Gloriano Hole. You all just have to remember that I am from the province of Canada where our public health officer recommended that individuals who wanted to be sexually active during the pandemic should constrain themselves to the use of glory holes as the safest vector. <laughs> By which to not spread COVID. Oh dear. There, I linked I linked the article. province of Canada. I said I live in the province within the nation of Canada where in our public health officer. It was a correctly formatted sentence.
Zafti just thought the most cursed thing. Somehow, as compared with the rest of the contents of this stream. Wait, why is Lloyd still here? I have something to tell you before we go to Velweb. It's about Diaz. I see. With this blizzard, it's not a bad time to take a break. It might actually be the worst time to take a break, in fact. I need to come up with a, a voice for, for Diaz. Do it. Make the world regenerate. Regeneration of the world. Ruin of Cadessa, three years ago. The world is now rotten, like a fallen fruit. It has the same smell as the world ruled by Melu Frama, the wingly dictator. <laughs> ah! The wall is Sean. <laughs> considered to be peace, and the easy path leads to devolution. The overture to the destruction has already begun. Devolution? You are saying that is the reason why our magic power is deteriorating? It is not only for you, Wing the danger all species are facing. Now, how can we regenerate the world? You think these are merely the 107th species? The Great Will, the Creator Soa, prepared the last, the 108th species. The last species is the last god which regenerated the world and lead us to Utopia. Count 108 years and when the moon that never sets glares red, the moon child descends to the earth and shall give a holy blessing to the world. The moon child of this legend is the last species. It is the god that gives holy bliss to the world. That's not true. It is the truth. Then why does the black monster continue to kill the moon child? That devil wants to stop the evolution after imagining himself scorched to death by the blessed light brought by the last species. Lloyd, what is the relationship between the divine moon objects you have been pursuing and the birth of the moon child? The ancient winglies feared their status as the supreme species would end and sealed up the 108th species. The keys to dissolving the signet are the gem, dagger, and mirror named after the moon. 
You are going to release the moon child, in other words. The god using the divine moon objects. If I don't do it, somebody else will. Even the last god cannot escape from the fate determined by Soa. That's all that I wanted to tell you. The rest will be told by Diaz. If you desire a utopia, why did you take Shauna away? What is Shauna to you? All the truth will be told in Bellweb. is over. The blizzard is over. Ah, oh, god damn it. A big orange robot on top of this monster mountain. And why is it called bowling? still have a long way to go. then. Ow! <laughs> hey, it's your fault, Dart. You slipped and we all ended up in here. Oh. These are the ancient characters of the Winglies. Let me read it. Winglies. Ouch. Bose. It's too hard to read. Can you do better than that? There are some human characters too. Gigantos too. I was bad at classics. Can you read some of them, Rose? land where the decline of the Wingbees began. Nobody is allowed to touch the door. The judge Nomos of the court of Xenobatos. Xenobatos? It was one of the most prosperous cities of the ancient Wingleys. It's over there? No. If my memory is correct, over there should be Fort Magrid. But Velweb is up there. Let's go back quickly. Okay. Back we go. So Fort Magrid is the optional area that has a super boss in it, apparently.
Oh, sorry. The optional boss in it. In any case, it's optional. I don't care. I do not want to try it for once just for funsies because it'll be at the end of a dungeon. And I don't want to spend the time getting through the dungeon just to lose. No, we are not 100% completing this one. I said that at the outset. I want to get this one done. As a game that I've never played before, I don't know how to break this one over my knee yet. This is just a, a straight playthrough. Listen, I checked the chest because I can't carry any more items, but I could potentially carry armor or equipment. It's, it's Madness Hero, Maricat. The, uh, the ability is Madness Hero. Random question. Do I know why River Monsters ended? I don't know what River Monsters is. <laughs> so, no. Was a fishing show on Discovery Channel? No idea. He caught all the fish he heard about? Really? Capital of Velweb. Whoops. You know, that's as good a reason as any to end your sh your series. Here we are at the capital city, Velweb. Seven Towers. 
Is Diaz waiting for us somewhere in there? That is the Tower of the Seven Dragoons. The throne of the Holy Emperor is underneath there. We are standing at the legendary place where humans began their liberation. I wonder if it's an abominable place as well. You think too much. It's the same as Cadessa, isn't it? When you drag the past around, you can't walk anywhere. It is true, Meru, the forbidden land that was the royal capital of the Winglies. And this Velweb is a mere historic ruin. Yes. We can do nothing but settle for the present. monsters are we going to have to fight here? Those are pretty hideous. Maximum Volt! Yes. Go. <laughs> the next hero! Wow, dang. Am I getting 90 SP every complete use of Mad Madness Hero? Yes. Thirty-five there. Ooh, nope. Bonk. Yes. Go. I was about to say, I was kind of counting on there being a shop here, but actually there is a shop here, so... Dracula. Neat. And a Johnny Five. A Dracula and a Johnny Five. I fully, fully read that name as Spring Hitler. <laughs> and had to do a double take. <laughs>
Oh, it's a succubus. That's not nearly as much fun as a Dracula. Oh, we have a joke redeem. We haven't had one of those in a while. Uh, let me see what I can find. What do you call a toupee that a family passes from generation to generation? A heirloom. What does Pac-Man put on his tacos? Waka 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 moly. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up? It was too tired. Listen, you're all impossible to please. Brother, there are no customers here. Uh, I'm not doubting your word, though. Don't worry. Believe me, there are always customers, even in this kind of place. Okay, I believe you, brother. Oh! You're right, brother. There are really customers. It's all due to the skills in my passionate merchant's soul. You have to learn from this. I sell weapons, and I sell items. We are peddlers. It must be fated that we would meet here. Why don't you take this chance to buy something? Let me thank you in advance. Oops. Buy something. A partisan and a heavy mace. Giganto armor. Pretty sure I have a giganto armor. Giganto ring. Oh, well, now I have two of the mace. Buy something. Sell. Items. Am I ever going to use these total vanishings? Probably not. All right, 
let's move on. See if I can figure out a means by which to do so. I'm totally stuck. Get out of my way, nerds. Samwog, I, I actually didn't know that such a video had been made. <laughs> but thank you. Now I'll look into it. Humans shot huge arrows from there, aiming at the Tower of Flanville. And back then, humans thought this way. That the arrow would not only shear the darkness that covers the earth, but also shear their corrupted hearts, which were accustomed to being ruled. Why are you suddenly starting to say this? I don't know. I still can't tell. But if we meet the guy who claims he is Diaz, I think we can find out the reason. I'm speaking nonsense again. Let's keep going. A hero from history is waiting for us. Hits like a truck again. Lloyd is not part of the party. We can't play as Lloyd. Lloyd is just here. <laughs> Surely. I have been waiting for you. You are Shirley? Why are you here? You ascend to heaven. You ascended to heaven, I thought. Before that, I had something I had to take care of here in Billweb. I couldn't leave the trapped souls alone in this world. Are you talking about Yes, the four souls of the Dragoons who lost their lives during the Dragoon campaign. Their souls were drawn to Mayfield, the gate of the Inferno from which you can never return. Is requesting the souls of the Dragoons. The Death City Mayfield, I thought it was destroyed. I don't know how, but it is true that the gate of the Inferno is open. Rose, I made their souls inert and anchored them in this place. 
But there is a limit to my power. After you meet Diaz, please visit this place again and lead their souls to heaven. The souls of the Dragoons are wandering somewhere in the towers. But we have to take care of something else. Let's go find Diaz. Yes, let's go find him Saturday because it is 10 o'clock. So thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you to everybody who subscribes, everybody who follows, everybody who cheers, everybody who chats, and everybody who hangs out and lurks. It's a genuine thrilled stream for you. And I hope you have as much fun watching as I do playing. I'll be back Saturday, same bad time, same bad channel, here on Twitch.tv slash Wiggins at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, playing more Legend of Dragoon and uh, hopefully uh, cranking away at, at the remaining part of the game. Um... Until then, you can, of course, follow me on Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram at Wiggins underscore TV. And if you're a subscriber, you can join the Discord by making sure your Twitch account and Discord account are linked in Discord's back end, where my server will appear to you as if by magic among your linked servers. So please remember to join the Discord. Um, let's give a quick look, see who's online that I can throw you to this evening, if anyone. Going to raid. Who are we going to raid? We are going to raid... Well, I'm going to do another Legend of Dragoon raid, is what I'm going to do. I don't know. We may as well throw to randos. Yeah, uh-oh. I heard. I hear that the last time was, uh, a, was a lot. <laughs> the last streamer a was a lot. A lot. <laughs> the last streamer was a lot. a lot. Oh, God. So much looping. Um... Let's see who's playing tonight. Uh, okay, once again, I make no guarantees about the quality of the individual that I am throwing to in this regard. But uh, here we go. Everybody hop aboard this raid train. And uh, I will see you back here on Saturday. Oh, okay. Okay. That person's settings do not allow me to raid at this time. So let's try somebody else. There we go. Okay, everybody hop aboard this raid train. I will see you back here on Saturday. Until then, so long. Have a great night and goodbye.